Thank you so much for having us here today. And uh, I would like to start my speech by saying I am a proud immigrant before being a Canadian, that I'm so thankful to be Canadian. But I'm, I'm a proud immigrant, and I would highlight a lot like Emily Irfan Sabir, Emily for Calgary McCall said, racism is not a partyism issue, and I am an example of that. I am a neutral person when it comes to politi politics, but I stand with the thoughts and with the actions that we are implementing. We're working so hard as an anti-racism committee and advisory council to put these things together. So first of all, I would say it's my pleasure to join you on territory, uh, seven ter on ter sorry, Treaty 7 territory, land that is also has deep importance of people of the Métis Nation of Alberta. My name is Mohamed Awada as they address me and I am one of the co-chairs for the Anti-Racism Advisory Council of the Government of Alberta. I am so proud to be in a position where I can represent, listen and take all the comments and the things that we hear to the government's attention to change it from, act from words to actions and that's what we're trying so hard to do. It is. It is not easy at all because like what is happening is like very, um, I very not acceptable in any sense toward any person or any color or any faith. My role and that of all the council members is to hear concerns and communities and share them with the, the voices of them with the government. It will take us all from individuals to communities, organizations and government to build bridges cities and a province and a whole country out of racism and to stand up for racism. We show that we tolerate racism here in our streets and our community. We are stronger when we are together and we will show all of those who wish to silence us that we cannot be ignored. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming here and standing up for this. I want to thank all the organizers, the action, the, the, the Chinese Canadians together, the African Canadian civic engagement, the Council Sister Dialogue, and other Black, Asian, and Indigenous organizers for this collaborative effort to denounce hate in Alberta. And I want to thank every person that showed up today with every beautiful sign out there that represents their views and their perspectives. And together, hopefully, we'll bring an action into force and see some changes. Thank you so much. And I'll pass it to the Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism, Culturalism and Status of Woman Leela here. Thank you so much. I was wondering, I'd like everybody to put their signs up as high as they can. And let's make some real noise about fighting racism. Ready on one? I said that I would mention his name. 
without rights and without any voice. And he has been fighting racism, racism his entire life and came to this beautiful country and has still faced issues here. But we are all standing together here today to fight this collaboratively. And I want to thank my colleagues from across the aisle for being here, for their beautiful work, and also to support the motion that came from MLA Dang on, uh, on, I think it was on Monday when we started to debate on that. So I want to say thank you so much. We have to do this together. We have to stand hand in hand. We have to mow it down. We cannot allow this to continue to happen. Can we have one more big shout out against racism on three, two, one, go! <laughs>